Well, here we are, fight fans. The next day after the Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight, which ended in the opposite fashion of what everybody expected or what most thought was going to be a body shot knockout through Ryan Garcia. Instead, Ryan Garcia went out the same way he put Luke Campbell out. Through five rounds, we all seen a chess match. The second round looked like Ryan Garcia wanted to open up a little more and was getting a little too careless with his boxing, which left him open for a shot that put him on his back. What more could you expect from a guy like Tank that has a tremendous boxing IQ and awareness? So all in all, put money on Ryan Garcia, ended up losing that. Today, as I'm going through YouTube and watching other people's channels, I came across a video where they explained that last night, there was a scorecard that read 10-10 even after the knockdown to Ryan Garcia. I said before the fight, once I seen who the judges were, it would have been no surprise had it gone a distance. Nobody knows what the outcome would have been. It could have swung either direction. If Ryan Garcia turns around and makes a better fight, brings it to a decision, that's the problem with boxing, and that's why it leaves a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. It couldn't have happened in a better fashion. Tank Davis did need the knockout. Looked like they might have screwed him on the scorecards. As I went through some comments last night, I seen a lot of people bringing back up the rehydration clause, which even as a person who was going for Ryan Garcia, I knew it's going to be the excuse if he loses. They're going to find any way to spin it. He was asked before the fight how he felt. He said he felt strong. You could say he was just saying that as a typical fighter. But at the end of the day, he still went through with his contract and made the fight happen. Everybody got to witness a historical event last night. No matter which guy you were going for, both were great. Both had great records. Both are faces of boxing. And who knows, maybe in years to come, we get that fight again. Maybe they could have it at 147. If Ryan wants to go up and wait, I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, Ryan Garcia-Mario Barrios fight. I think them two would match pretty well. I also wouldn't mind seeing a Gervonta Davis, Shakur Stevenson, maybe even Haney Davis fight. Now, there's possibilities out there. The lightweight division seems to be uh, where the eyes of the sport are drawn. A lot of talent. And still a lot of fights to look forward to. Last night was a historical event. Probably just as exciting as Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. Both guys made tremendous amounts of money, and as of right now, it's probably going in the books as the most anticipated matchup of this year so far. Who did you have last night? Was the outcome what you expected? I know certainly it wasn't the one I was expecting, but we did get one thing right. I took body shot. A body shot, and that's all it took. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. This is Boxing Talk. I'm Kirk, and we're out.